What's up folks, how's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. So for the past couple of days now, I've been testing out this. This is the new AMD RX 480. We have the HIS card over here. And although it, uh, it has uh, definitely some caveats in terms of the cooling performance, it's still a pretty darn remarkable deal at what these things are going for right now. We're gonna talk about whether it's worth uh, upgrading to a card like this, uh, especially if you're gonna do any kind of quad HD or to 1080p gaming although this is definitely VR compatible as well. So we're going to take a look at the overall performance results of this graphics card, compare it against the last generation R9 380X as well as the 390X, and also compare it against the GTX 970, which is coming down in price as well to give you guys an overall balanced uh, comparison. So if you're interested, let's get right into it. <music> Now the RX 480 is based off of AMD's Polaris 14 nanometer architecture, which is a complete redesign of the uh, Fiji architecture that they use on the 300 series. If we take a look at the uh, specifications, the RX 480 kind of falls in between just below the 390 or 390X and above the 380X. So we have about 2300 stream processors, about 36 compute units. The boost clock on the factory spec GPUs goes up to uh, 1266 megahertz. You do have a choice of getting a four gigabyte model of a GDDR5 versus an eight gigabyte model. The difference is between 40 to $50 between those two GPUs. Now, one of the big highlights on the new 400 series is that we finally have HDMI 2.0. In fact, it's 2.0B. So that means you can connect to uh, displays at 4K resolution at 60 hertz refresh rate. So that's gonna be great if you wanna hook this up to a 4K television and make like a home theater gaming PC. Furthermore, uh, you can see that there's a uh, plenty of DisplayPort 1.3 as well as 1.4 supported connections. So that's great if you want to connect a high dynamic range display as well as a free sync monitor. Additionally, the launch of the RX 480 was a little bit troublesome because some people had some issues with uh, crashing due to the fact that the PCI Express uh, was uh, drawing significantly more power than it normally should. So in a lot of instances with older motherboards, you had some uh, major stability issues. Uh, luckily, AMD has addressed this problem with the latest 16.7.1 driver. I personally didn't have any problems even uh, testing out some older motherboards, but it looks like at this point, AMD is addressing the issue as fast as possible and uh, hopefully performance uh, will also improve later down the road. Now, in terms of overall power consumption, the RX 480 is actually pretty darn efficient compared to the Asus 380X, which pulled around uh, 188 watts at full gaming load using Furmark versus in the exact same scenario, our uh, RX 480 drawed about 167 watts, which is uh, fairly efficient. Now at this point, my only real complaint with the RX 480 is uh, based off of this uh, cooler design. This blower fan is uh, completely outdated and uh, not adequate in my opinion to uh, really justify the performance of the uh, GPU inside. And hopefully later on down the road, you'll have better aftermarket coolers. But uh, currently right now in terms of noise, the single small fan outputs about 37 decibels at gaming load versus the Asus 380X with the Strix cooler is a lot quieter at 34 decibels. Furthermore, when it comes to the overall temperatures, the cooler is not doing a great job when the GPU is at full gaming load. It uh, peaked at around 83 degrees Celsius, which is a fairly, fairly hot. I would not be comfortable with uh, having this cooler at a prolonged period of time, especially if you're going to do any kind of crossfire configuration where there's poor airflow. And additionally, the Asus uh, 380X, uh, the Strix cooler, is doing a definitely a lot better job at around uh, 72 decibels in the same exact scenario. For those curious people that want to utilize the RX 480 for VR-based applications, well, uh, based on the Steam VR benchmark, this HIS GPU scored about 6.8 points paired with a 6700K processor from Intel, which is a fairly good. It's right below the uh, R9 380X and slightly above the uh, GTX 970, which is the minimum requirement for most VR-based systems. So yes, can definitely run a VR-based gaming machine with one single RX 480. Now move forward and taking a look at some synthetic gaming benchmark results. We're going to take a look at the Heaven benchmark at 1080p at ultra details with no anti-aliasing. You can see that our RX 480 is actually scoring very well, 71.4 
average FPS with a minimum of 23.1 FPS, which is uh, quite a lot faster than the 380X and even faster than the GTX 970 and just right behind the R9 390X, which is very, very impressive considering the price point of what this graphics card comes at. So now what we're going to do is move on to some real world uh, gaming benchmarks. So we're going to go run through all of the popular titles that I tested out with all four of these GPUs. So you guys have a good idea in terms of how the RX 480 performs. But really on that guys, that's really it. As you can see, uh, the RX 480 is uh, definitely an exceptional value. And with the new driver updates, it definitely solves many of the issues that the early cards were facing in terms of the overall PCI Express uh, power consumption. I personally never had the issue even in my early days of testing. It's mostly uh, gonna affect people with uh, older generation motherboards, but with driver updates, all these uh, problems will become uh, addressed and uh, perform will always increase as well which is always going to be a nice thing to see in the future now if you're in the market for a more higher end solution a real compelling option is having two of these RX 480s in Crossfire and we actually did a comparison between a Crossfire configuration versus a single GTX a 1080 so definitely check out that video you'll find a link in the description down below but really other than that guys that's really it. give us a thumbs up if you like this video thanks for your support and we'll see you later take care